Trust me. Oh. They've gotten a little bit better since ecstasy came around. Anyway, because I do it now and y'all look fabulous. Anyway, <laughs> no, I'm having a wonderful time up here. But I just, I had this nightmare backstage. I had this nightmare that I was going to be doing this act until I was like 75 years old. You know what I'm saying? And it wouldn't be pretty. Uh, well, not that it's pretty now, but it would, <laughs> it'd be less pretty then. I would have this name like Miss Pepper. I'd be wearing, uh, oh, thank you. First of all, first things first. Thank you, darling. I love your hair. I'd love to sit on the top of your head and just go back and forth and back and forth. But honey, I'm so old, I'd probably swallow his head. Be frightening. Well, speaking of frightening, ladies and gentlemen, I did have this dream that I would become this character. I was going to name her Miss Pepper. She's like one of those old bitches that will not quit, you know, like myself. She's working in an airport lounge somewhere, close to here. Trust me. Her hair has been permed. Her body has been chemically altered too many times. I better put some hair around this so I can find it. There it is. And she's just a bitter old bitch. You, you, do, do all of you know a bitter old bitch? Well, you're looking at one, okay? If you don't want, know one, I'll be your friend. This was much smoother in rehearsal when I had five assistants. They all got high today during happy hour. Oh, there's one of them, motherfucker. Get up here and help me. I need more jewelry. Something I just happened to pick up on the side of the road. Come in here. All right. Oh, I also, I need a cigarette. Does anybody still smoke? Are there still smokers in the house? Can you bring me a cigarette, honey? Lit? Oh, how fabulous. Well, thank you, darling. Careful, because this is cheap, but hey, so is that. Thank you, darling. Thank you. You're very sweet. Very, very nice. I recognize you now. Wait a minute. I had to get, like, my bearings straight. Through that little circle in Sears, you know, I, I just, I thought I was you. I wasn't too sure. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this is my tribute to the old bitch lounge singers. I call her Miss Pepper. I hope you enjoy her. Hit it, maestro. date the other night. Guy pulled out a condom. My age, I'm not worried about birth control. Bladder control is what I'm worried about. <laughs> Peed all over him. <laughs> I think he liked it too. Depends. <laughs> he thought I applauded him after sex. He didn't know I had my vibrator hooked up to the clapper. <laughs> I had a mammogram the other day. I stayed home, they took my tits over in a taxi. <laughs> you ever notice how many things painful to women begin with the male gender? Man, oh, pause. <laughs> Menstruation. <laughs> 
his terectomy. Gynecology. Mental illness. Hemorrhoids. So women get back at men and give them hernia. Herpes. So I have a new insignificant other in my life. He's so old, I thought the condoms in his wallet were pictures of his kids. He's an idiot. He can't get it up. Trust me, girls, you haven't lived until you've seen a soft dog. That's where it's hard from the bottom to the middle. <laughs> and the top of it's like the fucking Weeble people. <laughs> where are you gonna put that? <laughs> Freezer. The other day, he said he wanted to try sex in a new way. I told him, switch hands. <laughs> the other day, my old man goes to the Social Security office to pick up his check. Forgot his ID. Opened up his shirt, showed him the gray hair on his chest, got the check, brought it home. I said, why didn't you pull down your pants and get disability? <laughs> so I get a lot of questions over the years from young women wanting to know advice about marriage and men. I got a letter from a young woman. She says, Pepper, why do women seem to gain weight when they get married? I said, well, when you're single, you come home, you see what's in the refrigerator, and you go to bed. When you're married, you come home, you see what's in the bed, come from and I finally figured it out I believe that all women were born on this beautiful island off the coast of Greece called the Isle of Clitoris <laughs> yeah and there's no men there cause they can't find them and asking for no direction. <laughs> you be driving with a man, you got a map, you got a compass, you got a fucking Indian in the back seat of that car. They always say the same thing. Well, I don't know where we are, but we're making good time, damn it. See, I think that's why they put seatbelts in cars. 
just to keep women from beating the shit out of men. So if women come from the Isle of Clitoris, then that would mean that men come from the Isle of Penis, kind of dangling off over here in the Dead Sea. <laughs> in fact, some of the women from the Isle of Clitoris swam over to the Isle of Penis swam back because it wasn't as big as they heard it was. <laughs> We've all been on that little boat ride, haven't we, girls? <laughs> then I get asked a lot, Pop. Why is it so much easier for a man to have an orgasm than a woman? Because men name their penis. <laughs> it's their friend. <laughs> it's their pal. It's their little buddy. <laughs> He's not going to let them down in a crisis. <laughs> so the secret is, girls, you've got to name your clitoris. Maybe if we name it, it'll fucking come if we call it. <laughs> but you got to name it something that men want to get close to. So I call mine Joe Montana. Sometimes he fumbles and I have to run it in myself, but hey. <laughs> you know, men are always saying, what do women want? What in the hell do women want? Well, I finally really figured that out, too. It is romance. Be romantic. I told my old man the other night, I said, listen, fucker. <laughs> Let's try that little romance thing. So we're laying in bed. He reached over, grabbed me on the boob. He said, you know, honey, this could give milk. we get rid of that cow. <laughs> then he reached over, grabbed me on the bottom. He said, you know, honey, this give eggs. we get rid of that chicken. So I grabbed his dick. <laughs> I said, you know, honey, if this could get hard, we could get rid of your brother. And that's what I said. Wow. Wow. Well, I tell you, I've had such a fabulous time here. I've had a wonderful time. And before I divvy out the other things, would you like to hear one more Bet Medler? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's an obscure Bet Medler because uh, are there any Hawaiians here? Anything close to Hawaii? Cuba? No Hawaiians in the house? Well, before I finish out my set, I would like to thank, I would like to thank all the staff and the management here. First of all, let's hear for the boy, the, the, the bartenders, the boys behind the bars. They're the ones that are putting up with your shit. They're absolutely terrific. And then let's hear for the staff and the management here. Make some noise. 
And I must say, I must say, because I'm an old fan of Georgie's Alibi in Fort Lauderdale, actually in Wilton Manors, which we have coined the phrase Wilma. We call it Wilma. It's not Wilton Manors anymore. It's just Wilma. Are you going to Wilma? And it's a fabulous gay spot there. But it's just like going to, uh, it's just like going to California and seeing the old Disneyland and then coming to Florida and seeing Disney World. This is so much better and so much nicer. You motherfuckers have it easy up here. And this, you're lucky to have this place. Let's hear for George's Alibi. It's beautiful. <laughs> the owner, George, showed me around today. She, I, I'm like, you don't mean I have to, have to get dressed next to the fryer later in the kitchen? He goes, well, we don't have a kitchen yet. I said, well, okay. Anyway, but the place is absolutely fabulous, and you've shown me such a wonderful time. But this is a, like an old Hawaiian, an old Hawaiian chant. I hope you like this because I did, I did have a fabulous time here, and I do dearly love you. And so, uh, before I before I bring myself on, I would like to say something to our VJ, DJ, par excellence. He is absolutely terrific. You have been wonderful tonight. Thank you so much. Let's hear it. Come on, make some noise. All right, one more little tune for the old bald-headed bitch up here on the stage sweating her guts out, and then we're going to give away some freebies. Okay, hit it, maestro.
All right, let's hear for Electra. Thank you. You want more? In these shoes? Are you kidding? No. Well, let's see. Well, wait, 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 wait. Okay. Excuse me, my hair is in my face. Wait, wait. <laughs> okay. Uh, you want more? Really? Well, DJ VJ, par excellence. Um, on there, it was like that joke. You can call me Mark. I can call you Mark? <laughs> you can call me Jim. Thank you. <laughs> up I you know I, I'm an old bitch I, it's like I don't do you know it's like I, I don't do like rap stuff and things like that because I actually I did come up with a rap song uh, this is the beginning of it I hope you like it here we go I'm Electra E and I'm a drag you see cuz my face is painted up like a color TV I do Judy Garland and girls like that but as for Cher I'm too damn fat I shave my arms, I shave my hips, I shave my back, and I shave my lips. But when I get cleaned up, what do you see? That's as far as I got. Instead of little Kim, I think I'll call myself big old him. Don't you think? Come out with a little Bible and things. Anyway, um, well, maybe, uh, like, it's on there. It's, it's like, jokes. Uh, I don't know. Uh, it's a whole little set. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Oh, for God's sakes. It's, uh, it's on that same CD that you just played. It's the one right before it, I think. Yeah. It That's it. Yeah. I think you're warmed up enough now. And I think I got you now. I think it's time for a little vulgarity. What do you say, folks? What do you say we get down? Get down, get down, get down, get down, get down. And if I'm gonna get down, get down. I'm having your baby, I'm having your baby. I'm in love and love what's going through me. Having your baby, having your baby. Who I'm in love and love what's going through me. Didn't have to do it, I wouldn't put you through it. Could have swept it from my life, but would I do that to you? I would never, never. I wouldn't do that to you. Cheese. <laughs> so here we are on a Saturday night. Well, what else is new? How's that? What hotel am I staying in? Uh, the Bond, what's it called? The Bond uh, Court? The Bond Court. Oh, it's so chic. What? What room? Hey. 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 Ain't no cheap meat you're looking at. Hey, what's the matter, you? God damn, he thinks for six bucks he can see the whole thing. It ain't gonna cost you a lot more than six bucks to see the whole thing. A lot more. <laughs> Dr. Long John. My dreams are full of Dr. Long John. I got a dentist who's over seven feet tall. I have a dentist who's over seven feet tall. His name is Dr. Long John And he answers every call You know I went to Long John's office I said Doctor The pain is killing me I went to Long John's office I said the pain is 